Hey guys, Mirabo here, and if you remember the last episode, I have put uh, copper and uh, sphalerite in my fire pit, but it turns out that sphalerite wasn't in. Sphalerite is zinc, and it made brass, and I, I like throwing it away, and then I went to the this freaking lake again, and gathered some more copper, and I made some copper tools, but I didn't record it because it was pretty grindy, so whatever. And here I have my copper tools, actually just ahead, so I have to complete them. There we go, a copper pickaxe. Um, I have two, um, the prospector's pick, which is very important. And the saw. Okay, so now first of all I'm gonna use my saw to build some chests. So I put my acacia wood in here, acacia log I mean. And there we go, saw it into planks. These planks are different from the the normal Minecraft. And they are pretty cool actually. Acacia wood is pretty cool. So what I can do first, I can craft myself some planks. This is now the real Minecraft plank. And wow, this plank's really awesome. And then I craft a crafting table like this. And there we go. My crafting menu is upgraded. So now I can craft myself chests with planks like this. It's pretty cheap actually. And there we go. So now I can store my stuff. Um, well, I, I'm eating this. Jute, gold. I can't like put some stuff like uh, logs and uh, metal bars because uh, I can stack them in piles already. So there's no need to put in chests. That's what the mod maker think. Thanks. <laughs> so I'm gonna just drop out all the unusable stuff. Um, fire starter, water. There we go. Bones. Oh, actually, I'm gonna need my shovel. And you can drop tools as well because you can make two racks. That I'm I'm gonna make one right now. So I need planks. There we go. And then I make a shape like this. And there we go. Keisha two to rack. I'm gonna put it right here so now I can just store my tools in here like this. Just right click it and there we go. So it's not night time yet so I'm gonna go out and oh I need torches damn it. I'm gonna go out and try to find some ores like underground. I'm gonna need my prospector pick and a Prospector's pick, <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys how to to find ores because it's pretty difficult to find ores in this mod. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it correctly. I'm gonna need my fire starter for torches, and torches are a pain in the ass to make in this mod. You have to put sticks all the time. You can like stack them in in the the fire. This fire thing here, it's a fire pit, I think. I keep confounding that with the the brick kiln. No, what? Ah, the pit kiln. There we go. <laughs> and I would have, I would need this stick, but whatever. I need a new, a new travel. Well, whatever. So I have my food. I have my water. And what is this vessel? Okay, okay. It's empty. Let's drop it out. There we go. Um, let me take a look at my. Oh fuck. <laughs> I need some animals, or or just um, a fishing hunt. Okay, so what the prospector pi prospectors pick does? You right click it on the ground or any block, and it it's gonna check in a radius of I think nine blocks for ores, and it actually says what ore is in the concentration of it. So you remember that you marked. I said you to mark some um, places where you find surface ore. That's because on the underground there might be this ore. So I can't see any of my marks now. That's pretty annoying. Okay. Oh, I might. Okay. Checking stone with the prospector's pick is really always better because stone is next to uh, ore. <laughs> Actually, stone has ore. So that's it. That's my. My tip for you. I I'm pretty sure I found something really here. I think I found gold. Yes, native gold. So let me mark the spots properly with a torch. 
Whoop. Something just gave in. Nope. Okay. Um, but I, I don't really need gold. I need copper. Copper is the thing. And if I find... Oh, there we go. There we go. And nothing interesting. Okay. The prospector pick has uh, a big chance of failing. What I mean with failing. When you use her, like, found nothing of interest. But sometimes it finds, but it doesn't say anything. So this is a failure. Graffiti. I'm gonna need this for later. Not now though. I just need my stuff. And I'm gonna take a quick check of what I can find in this kind of stone. This kind of stone is nice. So I'm gonna take a quick check of what ores I can find with it. I'll be right back. Okay, so according to my to the wiki actually, <laughs> um, I can find in this kind of stone, nice, I can find um, silver, zinc as sphalerite, and copper as tetrahedrate. So I'm gonna just keep looking and eventually I will find some. Oh, wait a second, this is a new kind of dirt. That's interesting. So it's a new kind of rock in this hill. Let me take a check. I can just break the dirt to know what kind of stone it is. Whoa, it's basalt, it's basalt, there we go. Oh, it's shale, what the fuck is shale? I've never seen this before. Whoa, no, oh, I lost my nose, come on, ah, dang it. Well, I could have left it there. Okay, whatever. Um, let's just go check around. And checking hills, as I said, is better because it's next to stone. And stone is next to ours, so... There it goes. And I'm pretty unlucky. There, oh, new kind of stone. Let's take a check. Is it shale again? Oh, and dolomite. Dolomite, I might actually find something interesting in dolomite. Let me take a check. Nope, not really. Only bismuth and iron. Two kinds of iron. So it's pretty easy to find iron in this kind of rock in dolomite. So whatever. I don't need iron yet. But I really need to find copper and find shelter. Well, bituminous coal. Large sample. There you go. Coal is awesome. It's pretty loud. Even though I can make charcoal, but... Oh, there we go. I'm out of coal. <laughs> Let me mark the spots. And it's pretty next to my house, I think. Yeah, it's pretty close. I find coal. Traces. Nothing interested. So, the coal is that way. As I said... If I f have found a larger reading uh, on the other side of the hill, it means that the the coal is on the other side of the hill. Makes sense, right? So I'm gonna have to stick the night here at home, home sweet home, and I'll be right back at mornings. See ya! So guys, before leaving, I'm gonna start a farm. And I, the proper way of making a farm is using a, a metal hoe, but I don't have it because I'm poor. So I'm gonna use the stone hoe. And okay, so one thing really important: you can't like put a dirt block whenever, wherever you want, and just like make it turn into farmland, farmland. I mean, and. It would, it would not have nutrients, because this mod, the farming in it is, like, different. So, you have to use um, naturally placed dirt. So, that's be because they already have nutrients, that's it. <laughs> I was trying to find the word, and that's the word. They don't have nutrients needed for your crops. So, there you go. And, actually, props... Uh, different crops have different uh, amount of time they take to grow and the amount of ounces they drop once they are fully grown. So that's it. Uh, I've I've planted uh, carrots, green green beans, and oats. Oats I'm not gonna really use now because I can't use without a uh, the millstone. Um, the green beans I planted because they grow really fast. They are the fastest growing crop ever. And I'm, I shouldn't be farming for coal though. I need to find myself uh, copper. 
And I'm not gonna find any in Dolomite, so let's get back to Nice. Whoa. Oh, I'm alive, okay. Ugh. Uh, Nice is from my house to the forest, so I'm gonna stick to the this territory. And luckily, I'm gonna find something interesting. Nope. Not yet. Nothing interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stick to the forest and to these cli cliff sides. And nope, not yet. Come on. Tetrahedrates, I believe in you. Where are you? I'm looking for you. Oh man. Where? That's the place I. I've spawned in the. Yeah, that's my uh, first spawn, so. And I remember I found some, some cop, some sur surface copper in there. So let's go. Whoa! I am really um, scared of running out of food, so I really needed some spiders. Oh man! Oh well. Oh, there you go. I have a, a weird dirt. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Ah! I wish I had more food. Food? Where are you? Wait, I see something in there. There are potatoes. No. Yeah, there are potatoes. Oh, wait. New kind of stone. What is it? Clay stone? Seems to be clay stone. Church. What the fuck is church? I'm gonna take a look at it later. But I need that food. Potatoes. Come on. And actually, guys, um, just to say, you will need sugar canes. Like the normal sugar canes in the, uh, of the game. Because, well, you will get it later. But if you like can't find sugarcane any anywhere, you and you manage to get some planted because you will need for later. Yeah, there are definitely potatoes. Yes, thank God. No onions. No garlic. Garlic. Whatever. It's pretty much the same. <laughs> I don't know. I hate onions, but I love garlic. But they are pretty much the same. Oh God, that's awesome. That's just awesome. Oh yeah, 150, 120 ounces. I wish it was 150. But I have seen some more in there, so maybe it can turn into 150. There we go. And no, we can't. 140. Whoa, it's actually 140. Holy God. So let me take a check on shirts and see what I can find in there. Let's go. Okay, so I have good news and bad news. The good news is that when I'm entering the Iron Age, I would not have any problems because I have Kale in it and Graffiti really close to me. That means I can make a Crucible and this will make things really faster and easier. And the bad news is that I can't find Copper anywhere, so I will not be getting into the... Oh, into the... The Iron Age too quickly. And I can't find copper anywhere. That's really annoying. Whoa. The ward hasn't loaded in that chunk. It isn't loading. Come on. Okay. It's knees right here. Right? Yeah. That's... Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you've seen that copper javelin. What the fuck? Okay. Bail. Uh I just can't find copper that 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 annoy me annoys me. Ugh. Shale? Yeah, it might be shale. I'm confounded that with basalt. I really thought it was basalt. Well, whatever. It looks the same. Whoops, ferrites. Okay, that's cool. Medium sample. Can I find a better sample of it? Small sample. Small, small, small. Nothing interesting. Traces. So it is that way. Okay, so if I could climb in here, I would really love it. Okay. Oh, nope. Okay, so large sample. There we go. Right here. Large sample here. Large, very large sample. Okay. As I said, it's that way towards the forest. I can find a very large sample of spellerites. But a spellerite alone is really um, not useful because spellerite is thin. And I need to find copper 
in order to make bronze and stuff and use this fellerite actually so oh this okay it's a pretty large vein because i managed to find readings of fellerites um really far away from the the very large sample so it's a pretty large vein and i'm really afraid of breaking my prospector pick soon that's right right large sample Oh man, I'm I'm in the middle of nowhere. Come on, I'm gonna put a lot of torches so I can really find it later. And I'm gonna here it is my coordinates so I can watch the video again. <laughs> there it goes cheating. Um, there it goes very large sample, right besides this tree. Okay, so digging it up. I wish I can find it really next to me. Come on. So, nothing interesting. Very large sample. Nothing interesting. Very large sample. Okay, so it is this way and that way. Okay, so I, first I have to get to the stone layer. And here I am, stone layer. Wait, it isn't knee stone. Come on. Um, okay, it's gonna cave in. Yeah, caved in. Let me put my torch in here for YouTube's sake. Go down, yes, just like that. Whoa, no! Come on, st dirt! Behave yourself! <laughs> I I never mind uh, tetrahedrate in. Is it knees? Doesn't seem like, yeah, but it is. I never mind tetrahedrate in knees, so I don't really know how it looks like. Very large sample. Uh, okay, so. When it says very large sample, it means that the sample, like the vein, is pretty next to the surface. So you don't have to mine a lot, but I'm I can't seem to find any. And tetrahedrite is like the most important thing ever. Okay, more torches, and I'm out of torches already. That's really lame. And no tetrahedrite. Oh, freak me. There we go. No tetrahedrite yet. Uh, let me put my prospector on tree. I, I'm really used to uh, use tree when mining. One and three. And two for the sword, but I don't have any sword, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my axe in there because that's the closest thing I have for a sword. And still no tetrahedrite. Okay. That's really lame. Um, let me dig straight. I might find something. Very large sample, very large sample. Sometimes I've got the wrong reading. Something like this. You have to triangulate the the spot. And I didn't. I just picked one spot and start mining. So I might have to triangulate it. It's always the best choice. So let me go back. I'm just hoping it's not nighttime. No, I can still see daylight. Oh, fuck me. It caved in. Okay, so one spot is here. Another spot is here. Can I go farther? Yes, I can. Okay, very large sample. Large sample, there we go. Very large sample. And according to the readings, it translates into here. And I might find my tunnel, so let's... Uh, I was digging the right way, but I think I went down too much. So let's strangulate it. Going this way. Oh. And I might find some tetrahedrite. That means copper. Okay. Uh, tetrahedrite and any kind of ore, they look like the stone. So it can really come of Really like blending. So. Don't worry. Sometimes you have even found it, but you don't know. And I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean when I find tetrahedrite. I might take my torches back. I used one here. Yes. Man, that's so lame. I had no torches back there. Um, but here. Okay, so let's keep mining. And I have to be aware of mobs because. I'm in not a safe area. 
But the good thing is that mobs don't spawn too frequently in, in jungle biomes because there are mostly uh, leaves and mobs can spawn on leaves. And uh, let's take a reading again. Very large sample everywhere I look. So let's just keep mining. Uh, I might even dig. Whoop! Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, so the the first layer of stone is right here. So that's a good sign. There it is. Tetrahedrite, I found you. And it seems to be poor tetrahedrite. No, please, don't say it's poor. No, it's just tetrahedrite. So when you mine any ore, there's a chance of, of it being poor, normal, or rich. And you can see the values of them by holding shift. Like there, unit 25. When you find surface ore, it says 10. And as I said, you have to gather 100 in order to make a bar. So that's it. The normal one has 25, the poor one has 15, and the rich has 35. That's a really big difference, but I'm really I'm really happy with the normal one actually because it's really easier to count and you will not waste any tetrahedrite doing it. There it is, more. Oh, I'm going to be so rich. But I really need to mind that um that considerate considerate have I found considerate or sphalerite? I can't remember but I need to find considerate if I didn't yet let me take my torch with me <laughs> let's do the porny way come on I'm poor so I need to <laughs> carry my torch with me doesn't matter there we go so whenever you can't find any more any more ore, you can start digging outwards in this same mine in order to find more. Because uh, whenever you find a vein, this vein is really large. It doesn't is isn't like iron or iron ore in Minecraft or anything. It is like a big, a gigantic vein, but it's really um, spaced out so. It might be a little difficult to identify it because no one ever mapped, mapped like <laughs> quotation marks, mapped a freaking vein. So it is pretty difficult. And this vein is really, it's really apparent to me. I'm really glad I found it. And there's a lot of tetrahedrite in here. Again, tetrahedrite means copper. As malachite always means copper. Malachite, that's malachite. I don't know. <laughs> A green stuff <laughs> also means copper. So I'm gonna mine all the apparent copper I can find and go back to my shelter. Okay, I need go. I think I might go back because I don't have any torches. So, okay, let's mine this one and head back. Actually, I can't head back because it's nighttime. So I'm gonna. Oh, my. My hungry meter. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait till nighttime and go back. I will see you guys in a second. Daytime has come. And I uh, gotta go back to the Cassiterite uh, mine thing I found. And just to make sure it's Cassiterite because it's really important. If it's Felerite, I'm gonna be really sad because I really don't remember. And yeah was next to the river like here yep it was here uh right no it's considerate that i need okay uh i don't even know if i can find considerate in this area in knee stone so whatever i'm gonna go back to the shelter and i'll be right back so guys i'm gonna update you with the news uh, the thing is, I can't find Cassiterite anywhere near here, so I can't find tin. But uh, bronze is not the only uh, tier 2 metal I can make. Like, the tier 2 metals are all the bronzes. There are a lot of bronzes, like bronze, like the normal bronze with tin and copper. There is the business bronze, and there is the black bronze. And neither the... 
the black bronze nor the bismuth bronze needs tin. So, yeah, but I need to find silver in order to make both of them. And then I can choose between the bismuth bronze and the black bronze. I think the black bronze needs gold and there's a gold deposit in there. That way. Or I can choose the bismuth bronze if I find bismuth. And I can find bismuth anywhere in here, but I didn't yet. So, I don't know, that's it. And guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you like, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more episodes of the series, please subscribe to the channel. There is the, the playlist for the Terraforma Craft series. And that's it. I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye!